so guys time for an adventure uh, we're gonna drive for like five hours up a bit north in Sweden do some proper camping and fishing and the car is ready just have a look at this one eh? yeah <laughs> completely maxed out and uh, yeah same with the food so let's have a really nice road trip so before we go just did uh, add some labels overland experten uh, that would be my sponsor for this video so uh, big shout out to overland experten located in gothenburg sweden a uh, really good uh, vendor for camping gear, rooftop tent, etc. So, let's jump into the car. So as you can see I have like five hours drive. Normally it should be like four and a half but there's a lot of roads closed due to maintenance work etc. So, uh, yeah. Now we're driving for like two hours something. At least we are in uh, Dalarna now. About one hour left. Getting into the right area. Starting to look uh, a bit uh, like the northern landscape. Now we are close to our destination. The first destination we're gonna stay here. I'm gonna stay here for a day. Uh, trying to catch a really large brown trout uh, on a tube fly, which is. Uh, <laughs> gonna be very hard but I, I'm gonna give it a try anyhow um, nice woods here let me just draw, uh, drive down so <clears throat> let's have a sneak peek a quick one it's raining uh, so there's the setup and down here is the river and here we are There's one guy fishing over there. So looks doable. So I'm gonna set up the rooftop tent. I'm gonna show you how quick it is. There's going to be a lot of mosquitoes here. Perfect. So I'm going to take out the awning as well. Uh, it might come more rain. And I've been driving for a few hours, so it would be nice to uh, make some food. And then I need to get the fishing license. So there we go.
I love this owning. Owning in place. Let's see if I can take out the table this way as well. Yeah, it looks like it. Table and a chair. Gonna have one of the ugly shares since I'm gonna have waders on me later. I just don't wanna make it dirty. <clears throat> Got one of my old shares with me and one of the new ones. There we go. So let's have a table so we can cook some food. I'm starving. Did dry up, drive up five hours. Uh, not that long, but I need to refill. Need some more energy, so I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do some Korean noodles with uh, like minced pork and uh, maybe some cheese or something. Not sure yet. There we go. And uh, yeah, it's raining. I didn't intend uh, to have bad weather, but yeah, it doesn't matter. The awning doing its job. So I just gonna enjoy a cold one. Then I'm gonna start the refrigerator, do some cooking. Yeah, and then change to waders. Of course, I'm buying fishing license first. <sighs> oh, it's gonna be a nice week. Gonna do some fishing in this river in the evening and night. And tomorrow I'm gonna shift location to a, a lake a bit further up north. We're gonna see if uh, mayfly it's is hatching. Uh, gonna use like a, a I'm not sure about the English word, but a float tube uh, paddling, fishing in that lake, and see if we can catch a Arctic char or a trout.
rinsed pork into the noodle soup. So just a quick, simple uh, late lunch before I go fishing. So this is gonna last until tomorrow. Then I can cook a, a nice lunch when I get to the next spot. Let's put the lid on. Let it boil for a bit. Did some, did find some, yeah, jawbone of something with big teeth. Not sure which animal. Hmm. And here's the rest, the skull. Maybe cow or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, looks like a grass eater. So here, here's my setup. <clears throat> you have the awning and the rooftop tent. So that, that's my home for tonight. But let's get back to the cooking. gonna take a while it's just with the smaller uh, gas bottles not the big ones you don't get that much effect but I in no hurry so I just gonna let it boil for a while And there's something hatching in the river, as you can see. Maybe not able to see it on the camera. But the fish is eating something. There we go. So tomorrow I'm gonna change location to a lake with, as I mentioned earlier, Arctic char and. Uh, Trout. And hopefully we're gonna have some uh, mayflies hatching as well there. Yeah, looks really good. So I'm gonna try down at the point there. You see a tree leaning out. So behind that, I'm gonna start to fish in the evening. Now it's only four o'clock, so I'm gonna wait a bit. Sort my things out, uh, put on waders and fix my rod and flies, etc. Sink 246. So this is way too heavy line. <coughs> Sorry about the noise, but I'm going to change this one. So I'm going to change to float, hover, intermediate. Uh, both the fly line and the... Uh, uh, the tip a bit overkill and uh, the reel and line everything but I'm going for large uh, no grayling who knows I might get the grayling anyhow but that's uh, just a bonus but I'm going for large brown trout and this is a uh, really nice line if you can get it it's great quality from lts 
Let's see if you can see that one. One of my favorites. <clears throat> so, floating intermediate, floating hovering intermediate. This is the one we're going to use. This reel is a bit noisy. There we are. And then we go with the intermediate tip. I like to keep all my stuff in order uh, so I find what I need when I need it. So this one is brand new. I just gonna see which one is the right. That one. If you want to connect them the right way. And then I just put some leader on it. So. I have the LTS uh, Slingshot 3, two, uh, 12 and 6 feet, 6 pieces. So that's what I'm going to use. It's one of my favorite rods. Pretty massive rod, but you will get good distance. And uh, when I go salmon fishing, I fish with uh, 15 feet rods or 14, depends on. So, there we go. Mosquitoes are starting to find me. I'm still wet. So I'm just going to prepare everything and put on the fly. Let's see what I got. It's nice to have done all the preparations. You don't need to think about that. You just go fish. So here we have a few flies. Hmm. I think I might go with this really small one. There we go. I'm going to try that one first. That's going to be the one. When we, when we go up north, we're going to try a classics. Now it, it, we're not in salmon water, but big trout water and grayling. And uh, yeah, perch and white fish, so on. There we go. Mosquitoes. It's just lovely to sit here, enjoy the nature. You can hear the, the river running past you. And just uh, enjoy it. Having a beer. It's a great day. There's rain in the, in the clouds for sure. A few black ones. But I think overall we're going to have a quite a decent evening. And then we, we got proper clothes, so a bit of rain doesn't matter.
mosquito repellent just in case it's starting to find me here I noticed Don't need to clean the car at least. Just gonna keep an eye on the water on the awning. So in, on this trip, I got two grills with me, and uh, both are from. Uh, let me see camping moon so i'm gonna use the small one now just to have like a small nice campfire starting to get a little bit cold outside of course i got more, more clothes so i can always uh, put on more clothes but ho however, it's quite nice to have a, a small, small fire. And especially now, since it's been raining and so on, so there's no restrictions. And this one is for barbecue, so I'm just going to put it here. Just going to remove some dust here. Sorry. It com comes in this uh, nice little package. I'm gonna add a link to Amazon later. I just put it there. And I'm gonna do it real simple. You know, nothing fancy. So just have this, these ones. Just add a few in the bottom. Then I got some of these, only for heat. There we go. And I can add extra in a bit if I need to. The good, good thing with this uh, pressed coal is that it doesn't give that much spark. Since I have it close to my awning, otherwise I need to move it out further. And tomorrow I'm going to use the large one when we have a proper camping. It's like massive. Now we got the fire going and uh, I added some wet wood, just uh, loose uh, branches and so on um, to the fire. To, get some smoke just to get uh, rid of all the mosquitoes and so on um, and uh, I'm already drying up here it's lovely I'm just gonna keep it this small uh, for today uh, and uh, just enjoy the rest of the evening until the sun sets and then uh, I go out fishing
Okay, the sun is setting. To be honest, it's optimal fishing for dry fly, <laughs> but I'm gonna do tube fly and see how that works out. Just have a look at all these hatching flies. Jonas says fish on. Yes, it's a monster. Can it be a little nerding? It's a nerd, right? It's a nerd. 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 Perfect. Let's see a little bit. It's a nerd. Niklas has fish on. I'm a bit away, so I need to walk. Not sure if it's a trout or a grayling, but uh, looks like a decent sized fish for, for this water. And uh, this fly is hatching all over the place. Oh no, ring. On her. So it's a grayling. Oh, decent size. This. Oh, lovely one. Fantastic. Video. See you next time, buddy. Yeah, hey! Nice! Well, it's been a long day. Yeah, four and a half hours driving up here, sorting out the camp. That was quite easy and not that much. Then we've been fishing from around eight. Now it's past midnight. I have a campfire. Drying up my shoes and going to enjoy a beer. And after that, I'm going to bed. I think it's a new day tomorrow. Uh, but we, yeah, we didn't keep catch any big trout, but I didn't expect we should. Uh, August might be better, much better indeed. However, we got. Um, some decent graylings. Uh, I got a small, around 30 centimeters. And Niklas got the two bigger ones and one smaller one. So, uh, yeah, not that bad. First day of the vacation out fishing. So, cheers, guys. See you later. So that's the view just outside the rooftop tent and I'm having my feet at that direction so starting to get time to uh, make some breakfast rearrange the stuff a bit uh, since I'm gonna break camp in the early afternoon and move to a new location so uh, I might offload the phone uh, with the all the movie clips I made, uh, prepare things, maybe charge up the, the R600 uh, as well. But uh, see you guys soon. I just gonna jump down and start to prepare things and I'll bring it back to when we do some uh, breakfast. So, I took away the awning. Uh, we like the sun here. It's not that strong so you can just enjoy it. Um, I put the, uh, I light the, the, the barbecue. Um, I'm gonna eat some simple food today. Just frying some chorizo with the eggs. It's gonna give me a lot of energy throughout the day. Uh, a lot of fat. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I, I'm charging my phone as well. Uh, 
it's not that hot yet, so I, I'm gonna move it away from the sun later. Of course, it's not good. Uh, yeah, so I bring you back when uh, when it's time to uh, fry up stuff. Uh, the charcoal is just uh, starting to burn, so it will take like 15, 20 minutes before it's ready. So I'm just enjoying sitting here next to the river and uh, have some water. It's going to be a fantastic day today. And uh, in the afternoon, we go up north. I think it's like a one hour drive, something from here. So, I started barbecuing. They were a bit frozen, so it will take some time. Three uh, chorizo, one hamburger, and three eggs. That's going to be my breakfast and uh, lunch. <clears throat> uh, simple food, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm camping myself today. My family is at work. So um, tonight we're going to do some proper cooking. Uh, and. Uh, Hope you're gonna enjoy that one. But it's gonna take a, a while. So uh, I'll bring you back a bit later. That's gonna be funny. <laughs> the first egg on in the grill. Hey. So I hope I can eat before it starts to rain. And I like the sunny side up. That's how I prefer it. Lovely rain clouds, eh? It's so hot, so it's hard to handle. There we go. And that's dinner time. Oh, breakfast time, sorry. Uh, just some easy egg, uh, chorizo, and a hamburger. Now I'm gonna eat, so see you guys in a bit. So, guys, uh, time to move to the next location. So I'm just gonna have a quick walk around and check everything. So, so it looks like it did when, uh, at least uh, when I arrived. So I haven't forgotten anything. As you can see, no garbage, nothing. Everything is clean. Just need to put in the chair. I do that a bit later. Check the awning and all the connectors and everything. Uh, they are secured, tight. I got still uh, quite a full trunk, I would say. <laughs> and all the locks and everything on the rooftop tent is secured. So. I was waiting for the call from from a friend, and then I will drive to the next location. See you guys later. So uh, <coughs> Niklas has many talents, uh, except fishing and uh, tying dry flies. He also makes fantastic beer, American Pale Ale. Yes, fantastic. That's the brewmaster. Cheers. Cheers. Namen. We got the pizza oven. So uh, tonight we're gonna have some delicious pizza. Uh, there's a location where we're gonna fish later. And uh, I just made a camp. <laughs> oh, built a house. So 
there you go. It's the setup. And Niklas has his uh, trailer. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be perfect. You'll see in the middle of nowhere. So today I'm baking the pizzas and the Niklas uh, put them in the oven and make sure they look nice. Looking forward to see this one, uh, lovely pizza. Wow, that's really hot. Oh la la, our first pizza uh, for today. We made a smaller one, uh, just a snack, too small, and then we go for a large one. Sluta vad gott! Kungen, kolla på den där! Look at this pizza! I even forgot to speak English. <laughs> so, this is how we do when we are in the forest. So we have a new location after that lovely pizza. And have a nice campfire. And the lake is just in front of us. So we are just waiting for something to hatch to um, try to catch some arctic char or trout like a mirror and it's i think it's close to 11 at night well, Thursday morning, and I have some breakfast. The master chef, meaning me, doing some uh, bacon and eggs and uh, uh, chorizo and half a burger. <laughs> Another nice day with uh, some pizza here in the forest, and uh, <clears throat> the weather might be against us, but who remembers a cover? So let's just do this one. Yeah? Some topping, tomato, and uh, yeah, the topping is blowing away. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna recover that. But still, we got pizza, we got pizza, and we have the, the master of pizza here, Niklas. And oh, have a look at that one. Yeah, and the rain is starting, so sprinkle some. Sorry, I need I need the support here. At the same time. We have our small camp. And we got our new friend here uh, making his first pizza in the, the forest, at least for us. Some tomato sauce. All the rest is longer than. Niklas uh, ready with the cheese. There is, yeah, it's just starting raining, but who cares? Pizza is important. So, we have shut up all the mozzarella. Some mozzarella cheese, we've got strong cheese, tomato sauce, some nice salami. Oh, yeah, oh. Uh, it's okay. But don't have it done, Estelle. We've got some uh, green cheese. So, we have a gluten free after them there. Oh. <laughs> the weather is coming, we got some thunder and lightning, uh, but yeah, that one is gonna be amazing. Just see the oven. Yeah. We started a small campfire 
This morning? No, morning, evening. Cheers. So, uh, it's like uh, two in the morning. We're having a nice campfire because it's uh, super cold in this lovely region in Sweden. And uh, yeah, the mist is almost gone from the lake, but yeah, it's, uh, I think it's like uh, five, four or five degrees. Cool as hell. So guys, this is my full setup with the Excel uh, Annex. Very large inside, honestly, as you can see. You can fit plenty of stuff inside. I have my cooler and everything in the back. And pizza oven. And uh, yeah, the bar new barbecue stuff. And there we go, in the back, the rooftop tent. And I haven't even put out the, uh, the awning, no need for, since it's large enough with this setup. And down there you have the water, the lake we're gonna fish in. So we had to charge our devices, so I just put out my uh, All Powers R600 uh, uh, with 140 watts uh, solar panels. So uh, here it is. And the good thing is you have a pass through charge as well. And uh, it's been uh, charging for like uh, almost an hour mm. and uh, it's close to 100% already. Sure. Yeah. So I bought this uh, uh, pump, uh, air pump, uh, with a battery and uh, it's uh, light as well, really useful. So I'm going to use it to uh, fill my uh, float too. So we are here in uh, Elvdalen, Dalarna, and we just discovered a new kind of duck. I'm not sure which, which uh, species it, it is, but uh, I haven't seen it before. Det är bara att sätta det direkt. Jag har skott dess lovlig trout. Fantastisk vann. Så vi ska göra en session med den här. Så vi får den. The weather is just perfect. Overcast, some rain, but still uh, beautiful in between. Oh, I got the shake after the fish. <laughs> oh, happy days, eh? One trout for me. Let me see, there we are. I'm smiling and shaking. Sorry about the bad uh, shaking picture, but I got, yeah. After the fish, the adrenaline is just uh, ru rushing.
about 11 in the evening. Looks really good, but no uh, fish showing. So today I'm gonna try to uh, catch an uh, arctic char. Uh, let's see. cloudy today but no rain so far so might be good and I have my flute too but yesterday actually yesterday caught a fish from land and the gear I can talk about the gear I'm using I'm using uh, LTS Dynamic fly rod knife Class uh, five, four piece rod, and also a small LTS reel. Uh, I really enjoy this one, and it's very, very decent priced stuff. Very light and easy to cast, but still get some back to it when you're uh, drilling a fish, and hopefully. We can catch one here so we can get it on video. It's been raining quite a lot the past days and so I've not been able to film that much when fishing. We just landed the fish there in the boat. Get stuck here. So just over here, I clouds from yesterday. So hopefully the fish is gonna start to show. So I don't really prefer blind casting. I want a sight fish. And uh, with this weather, yeah, dry fly is not even to think about. But the weather changed really quickly here, so uh, who knows? In an hour or two, it might be sun. And here's my dear friend uh, Yuan in his uh, flow tube. He hasn't got a fish either so far, uh, but uh, the fish is not showing. It's really, you know, they they, they are going deep, I, I guess.
Men så fort solen sprack fram så vaknade, vaknade det lite till här. Liksom en kvart 20 minuter utan blås här då, då, liksom, då hade Ja man... men så fort solen tittar fram så började det vaka här ja. Precis på då. sju meter ut Så nu var bara rutinerad eller hur? Jag tänkte att vi skulle dra det när vi har fått en rödding av Men det är ju som en bra då Så då var det bara att bli sig här då ja, ja, ja. So let's see if we can catch anything. Had a break there, the cigar. My friends uh, didn't have any, any as well. No, no, haven't even seen uh, fish showing. So. Is it uh, gin and tonic time? Yep. Love it. So Niklas, uh, court. On size 18, yes. a dry fly, a really, really nice trout, F a fat bastard, uh, really good, well done. So, uh, time to chop some onion uh, with my uh, small uh, bovie knife, uh, a must have. Just do them very thin, sour pizzas. Small, uh, nice campfire just to heat ourselves, and in, in the tent, we got my buddy Niklas and I did some uh, lighting. Oh, yeah, work. Sorry,